prison. It's a punishing routine. The food, the clothes, the view, nothing changes. Life's variety, like an inmate's freedom, is taken away. But here, at the Louisiana State Penitentiary, known as Angola, one of the most notorious maximum security prisons in the country, the monotony of doing hard time is occasionally broken. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Angola Prison Rodeo. For one weekend in April, and all the Sundays this month, some of Louisiana's most violent criminals become entertainment. We came to see the radio. <laughs> Spectators from all over fill the stadium, built by prisoners, mind you, that seats more than 11,000 people. <laughs> it's an odd mix, both animals and inmates released from their respective confinements to duel it out. It's both a crowd pleaser and a bit unsettling. The atmosphere reminds you of a state fair, but then there's the guard towers and razor wire. Even the Mississippi River fools you. It meanders its way around this former slave plantation in a very tranquil way, until you notice the alligators. All right, here we go, wild cow milking. This place is a never-ending stream of contrasts. You're not sure whether to cheer or jeer when you're here. He's digging somebody a grave. The competitions aren't what you'd expect at a regular rodeo. Don't move. Take convict poker. Four inmates uh -oh. sit nervously at a card table while a very restless bull picks out his target. Here we go. Neither takes out the whole card table at once. He picks the inmates off one by one. He's out. Don't run! The last one standing or sitting wins. We want to have this show and no one get hurt, no one be injured, and have a good time. It's about a good time. It's not about some sinister, brutal thing that happens. That's your first one? Yeah. Burl Kane has been Angola's warden for 20 years and is well aware that his rodeo can make the Louisiana State Penitentiary seem more like the Roman Colosseum. How is it not taking advantage of the inmates? Nobody has to do it. Nobody, nobody, nobody. They want to do it. How can I take advantage of you if you want to do it? Do you have any experience? Like, Oh, no. Nothing? Never been a cowboy. They're all volunteers, like first-time cowboy Virgil Smith, a career criminal who's here for murder. So why do you do this? Money. Yeah. I'm broke. I'm trying to get a private investigator on my case. He earns two cents an hour working in the prison fields, but he can earn hundreds out in that mud. It doesn't bug you that people are coming out to watch you guys get hurt? It's not really upsetting because, you know, people like to see anything that's filled with excitement. Do you ever have any qualms about putting these guys in the arena without any real rodeo training? No, here's what I do. This is the most important thing. They're wearing the flak vest, they're wearing the helmet, and then we have hired the very finest rodeo clowns who you see get between the bull and the guys and save the guys and get the bull to chase them. We've gone to, it's to a great extreme to protect them. In fact, he says most inmates walk away with just minor injuries. God For him, a few bumps and bruises is worth it. If the inmates get a brief reprieve, from the hopelessness of prison. Over 80% of Angola's inmates will never be free again. Some don't even leave when they die. They're buried right here, inside the prison walls. It's like, take you away from being incarcerated while being incarcerated. Timothy Gay and Aldrick Lathan are both in for armed robbery. Is it something you guys look forward to all year? Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Because there's probably not a lot else to look forward to in here, right? No. Not really. Now, their victims would likely argue they don't deserve to have something to look forward to. Certainly not those here for the most serious offenses. 
I took a hit and didn't get a penny. You took a hit and didn't get a penny. I got to try to change this dude because corrections means correct his deviant behavior. So I'm charged with correcting him. That's my job. It's not locking feet and torture and torment. Yeah, they're up the colors. So the rodeo in his mind is rehabilitation, helping to give the inmates purpose. You want those two? These two, yeah. Okay. At the rodeo's craft fair, offenders called trustees, having served at least a decade without incident, are allowed to sell items they make here, everything from bowls to rocking chairs. Yeah, we'll split that. For many, these interactions are the only time they talk with someone from the outside. I've had a bunch of them just speak, you know, even though I wasn't even shopping, you know, or anything, just to speak and have somebody actually talk to them as if they were human again. Is that the one you want? John Sheehan has been locked up here for 28 years for killing his wife. Like for my ID, I keep my ID just like that. The rodeo has given yeah. him a chance to start a small leatherworks business from behind bars. I had to try to find meaning in my life and purpose for my life. And that's what I've done while I've been incarcerated. To be sure the rodeo does make money. Whoops, stay with it. This year, the event is expected to net close to $4 million. Proceeds that fund a host of inmate welfare programs that might otherwise be paid for with tax dollars. Hang on, hang on. But the most tangible effect for the offenders is a chance to be seen in a more positive light. So what's it like to be out there and hear everybody cheering for you? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling. Yeah. You know, I got to be doing something right for them to like me the way they like me, so. Marlon Brown, known as Tank, is doing life for murder. Perhaps it's no surprise he's champion of the toughest rodeo event of all. He has taken the chip 20 times. That is a record. It's called Guts and Glory. All right, here we go. Barehanded inmates try to grab a poker chip that's tied between the horns of a pretty angry bull. Well, you got a 2,500-pound animal in front of you. you well, know, you can't be worrying about nothing new. This day was not Tank's day. Reach in for Tank! He was run over repeatedly. Whoa! Now, Tank, try to reach in, get the chip. His last attempt got him thrown into the fence. The chip flew off into another inmate's hands. It was a rare loss for Tank, but he limped out of the arena with a smile. It take a lot. Yeah. It take a lot to take me. I'm glad you're all right. All right. Like so many here, he figured he had nothing to lose. He'll never be free, so why not go for it? Whatever you think of the oldest prison rodeo in the country, there does seem to be no shortage of willing participants looking to feel free, yeah, I knew. even for a few seconds. So it's worth the risk, you think, of getting hurt? Freedom, yeah. Yeah, 